and today we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators. You're gonna love this lesson. Again, so easy. Once you see what we have to do here, you'll be like, I got this. Here we go. Let's say we have a pizza pie and we divided our pizza pie into eight slices. And I decided that I wanted to have two of the slices. So what percentage would that be or what piece of the pie would that be? I'm gonna add one slice, which is one eighth, to another slice, which is one eighth. And if we do the math there, we do one eighth plus one eighth, and that would be, so I'm just gonna go ahead and color it in. How many eighths do I have? I now have two of my eighths. So you can take a close look here. Well, what did we do? We added they have the same common denominator, so we kept the denominator, but all we did was add the numerator. One plus one, it gave us two, two eighths. Now we also know that we can simplify two eighths and say that two eighths is the same thing as saying one fourth because two goes into both of these numbers. But essentially, that's it. You add the numerator, you keep the denominator, and you see if you can simplify. Let me give you another example. Here I have 3 sixths plus 2 sixths, and again the rule is keep your denominator the same, so it's going to be over 6, and add your numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5. My answer is 5 sixths. Can I do it when I have more than one fraction that I'm adding together? I sure can. Same rules apply. I keep my denominator the same, here it's 9, so let's put 9 on the bottom, and I add my numerators. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, it gives me an improper fraction of 11 over 9. Generally in math we don't like to keep things as improper fractions, so let's make it a mixed number. It's going to be 1, and how many are left over after 9? Subtract from 12, or from 11, 11 minus 9. 2 is left over, we have 1 and 2 ninths. Well, this lesson is called adding and subtracting, so I've got to show you a subtraction example. So here we go, 7 twelfths minus 5 twelfths. Same rules apply. Keep your denominator the same. And subtract your numerators. 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now, do we keep it as 2 twelfths? Nope, we can simplify that. So what do we simplify it to? 2 goes into both of these numbers, which gives us a 1 over 6. It's that simple. So I hope that makes sense to you. Did a great job. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.